Good morning, everyone. Today, uh, we're going to do a special thing. <laughs> I am very behind on the Minder Challenge. Very, very, very behind. I know technically we didn't call it a competition this year, but it's still a competition in my heart. So I want to kind of catch up a little bit. So I thought the best way to do that would be to read a bunch of manga <laughs> during this weekend. We're gonna see how far we can get. Let me show you the current situation. So I have 35 points, which honestly, it's a little wrong because I've read a few books since then, but let's count with 35, right? 35 points. And then my cousin has 90. She's the one that's on the lead, so she's like the competition to beat. But Claudia it has 63 points, which is a little bit, little bit more doable. So from 35 to 63, that is 28 points, right? I think so. So we would have to read 28 different mangas or books. <laughs> and hopefully if we can like make one of the challenges as well that would give us more points also so the plan for today and tomorrow because we're gonna do this over the weekend is we're gonna see how much we can read and we're mostly gonna rely on mangas i'm reading blue period i want to finish blue period i am like on volume 7 i think there's 15 out by now so i want to read that that is like eight more volumes something like that and then we might have to ask around for what to read next in terms of manga because I'm a little lost. I, I heard of the manga Given, which looks okay, looks good. And I was also thinking maybe we could read Spy Family. I heard great things about it. One of my friends really loves it and has been trying to get me to read it. So maybe we'll read Spy Family. We'll see. We might not even manage to get through all, all, all of the blue period, but I'm hopeful because it takes me roughly, I, I don't know exactly how long it takes me to get through one of the volumes, but let's say at maximum it takes me two hours to get through one of the volumes, then that would be seven volumes is 14 hours, right? I think so. So that would be today. And stuff like cooking and eating and stuff, I'm gonna probably listen to an audiobook. I found an audiobook that looks interesting and takes place in Lisbon and it's about World War II, I believe. So that's one of the challenges, is reading a book that that's about uh, World War II. Um, so I'll do it. I don't know how long the audiobook is. Let me check. I think we probably won't be able to finish it today that audiobook not today nor tomorrow to be quite frank <laughs> to be quite frank with you because i think it's like 11 hours or something like that let me see there we go it's called the book spy by ellen ladd ellen ladd i don't know i'm not sure how to pronounce that uh there you go that one so that's 11 hours that's a lot that's a lot of time. We'll see how much we can get to it. We'll probably use that when we're like washing dishes, preparing food, that type of thing. And I also want to see if I can hopefully finish the fourth volume of Percy Jackson just because I have 200 and something pages left. And the last time I did my 12 hour stream, which was a while ago now, I'm well, I think we did like four hours worth of reading sprints and I read 120 pages in that day. So I'm thinking maybe we can read a hundred and something pages today or try to and finish it tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Like this is all like thinking out loud and being hopeful. Realistically, we we'll, we'll probably won't be able to read that much, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. I'm going to take today very seriously, but still not like, uh, like seriously, but without too much pressure, you know? It is currently, uh, almost 1230. Yes, I haven't had breakfast. What about it? Also forgot to mention, the UK is currently 
in a heat wave. <laughs> so I am dying in this bedroom. It is very warm. I don't think you can tell, but I'm sweating. It, it's not good. Uh, I don't really enjoy this. And today and tomorrow is going to be, I think, the hottest days or something. It's going to be like 33 degrees, which I know for some countries doesn't sound like a lot. And it shouldn't be too much for me since I am from a hot country. But trust me when I say, the sun here hits different. It's completely different. The sun here is unbearable. It's awful. And like, it's just so warm. So if you see me complain throughout the video, just know that I'm doing that out of uh, a necessity. Because um, I need to complain to someone. <laughs> Everybody's living the dream Starring in the show that we film on our phones Taking photos for pretend magazines This looks really weird because I need to mix in the honey with the chia pudding So it looks a little odd, it looks like it's just swimming in honey I promise it's not that much honey, it just looks like a lot, but it's not If you have tri triplophobia, whatever that's pronounced, the fear of little holes Maybe look away, because chia pudding Looks a little bit like that. <laughs> so maybe look away for like two seconds. And we got chia pudding with some blueberries and honey. Okay, triple phobia people, you can look back. Let me show you where I am in blue period. I am on volume seven, chapter 31. I'm not sure how many there is left on this book. I know I've been reading it for, well, since yesterday, I think. So it should be closer for me to finish it. I think I'll try to finish during breakfast. Look at the first page. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? I want to do like a count of how long it takes me to get through a volume, but we're not going to do it with this one because it's already started. So it wouldn't be a good research. It wouldn't be a good result, an accurate result. So we'll do it after this one. Oh, those blueberries are acid. Oh my god, that's not good. <laughs> okay. okay, I that took me way longer than it should have. I took some breaks, <laughs> which honestly I shouldn't have, but I did. So it's now almost 3 p.m. It's uh, 2.41, so I need to go make some lunch, so let's go cook, and I'm gonna listen to uh, that audiobook I talked about earlier, I don't remember the name, the book something, the book spy, the book spy, yes, we're gonna listen to that, uh, also I finished, I thought I was, did I say I was on volume 7 of Blue Period? Turns out I was on volume 8, so I finished that. I think I'm gonna give it 4 stars. Like, they changed the the person who was doing Blue Period, who was like drawing it and doing the story and stuff. Uh, he didn't want to continue, so another person picked it up a few volumes ago. And honestly, it's not as good as the original, I must say. It's just, I don't know. There's something that changed in it that I'm not enjoying too much. Or not as much. Like, I'm still liking it, but it's like, I don't know. There's just too much writing, and it seems like it's a little repetitive at times. Like, the writing is just a little repetitive. And it's just like big chunks, like big blocks of writing in these pages. And it's. It's not proportionate enough. I don't know. I don't. I wish they changed that a little bit. Here is the menu for today. We got some uh, spinach and ricotta tortellini. It feels like I'm always eating tortellini because whenever I vlog, it seems like lately I've been having tortellini. I swear I don't eat tortellini that regularly. It just. It's a weird coincidence. Here yeah, I'm having this with broccoli 
All right, let's prepare. I think I'm also gonna fry an egg. I really am I'm a little hungry. <laughs> Lamplight Audiobooks presents an unabridged recording of The Book Spy by Alan Ladd, narrated by Wallace Hammond. Can you hear me? I have the, the thing is working. The whatever that's called, I don't care, remember. <laughs> um, the broccoli is taking way longer to cook than I was expecting, so I'm just waiting on that, and the rest is all done. Here's a tortellini. There you go. <laughs> you can somewhat see it. And the eggs, which I've I've eaten one already, so there's only one left. Uh, and I think I'm gonna just eat the other the other egg with the tortellini because I don't think I can wait for that. I'm little, I'm way too hungry. But I have listened to 36 minutes, almost 37 minutes of the books by. Okay, wait a second. I've moved locations, so hopefully you can hear me better now. Um, yeah, 36 minutes, um, I don't really know what's going on, <laughs> I never know what's going on with audiobooks, um, but there's this like special mission in, that they created in the US where they're gonna send librarians, librarians to neutral countries, so this takes place during the second world war uh so they're gonna send people to no neutral countries neutral countries and one of them is portugal because we were neutral during the second world war and they mentioned another country but i don't remember what it was because they're currently in portugal and i just well, <laughs> i just have to say the one of the main characters at least seems like one of the main characters because they've mentioned like her whole backstory uh, she's uh, the daughter of immigrants, of Portuguese immigrants, and Dave had her speak to her dad, and the person who's reading the, like, the book, when he was reading the dad's lines, the accent was just not it. <laughs> Obviously, he's trying his best, but the accent that he did for the dad sounded like the accent that Adam Sandler did for Dracula, in Hotel Transylvania, and that's just not how we speak. I feel like I don't have much of an accent when I'm speaking in, in English. Like, I don't have much of a Portuguese accent. But even people who have a very strong Portuguese accent when speaking in English, they do not sound like Dracula. Dracula? Dracula? Dracula. That's just not it. <laughs> um, so that's a little thing that I was, it was a little bit of a nick. But other than that, like, it's so funny listening to the author trying to say these Portuguese names. Because, like, he's... Like, they're in Portugal right now, right? So they're walking through, like... Uh, they're in Lisbon and they're walking through like, the Baixa of Lisbon. And, like, um, all of these streets, like, Rua do Carmo. And all of these places, like, in Lisbon. But the way he pronounces the names... <laughs> and, like, again, this is not me criticizing the person who's reading. It's just... I find it funny, as a, someone who speaks Portuguese, it's funny because the way he pronounces stuff, like these Portuguese words, um, it's so off that I need to like pay very close attention to understand what he's trying to say. Even the way he said Luis Camões, which is one of our big writers, he said it in such a fu funny way, like such a quirky way. <laughs> I was like, okay, does he mean Camões? Like, what is happening? Um, so yeah, funny. That part is funny. Um, 
I don't think I actually said why I chose to read this book for like the World War II challenge. I just, I'm not a big World War II reader. I, I cannot get into it. I, I think it's such a painful topic. I, I, don't, I just cannot read the books that take place in that, especially if it takes place in like the concentration camps and stuff like that. It's just too, too painful to read because you know, you're reading all of this trauma and all of these, like, torture and stuff, and what hurts is knowing that it actually happened, right? It's all based on true story. So I don't, I cannot read those type of things, but I thought it would be interesting when I saw this one, because even though it takes place in World War II, it's a different perspective of World War II, because it's not inside the concentration camps or anything like that. It's like, you're seeing, like, the perspective of this country that is neutral in war, and, like, what they can do to help the situation in some way and i think that's interesting there's a portuguese author who wrote some books kind of like that it, i think it was from italia's italia's i just said that in portuguese uh <laughs> italy's perspective and i don't remember the name of the author but it's the same author who wrote mar dos mai or mind dos mar I never know the order, the order of the title, um, but I'll put up the book that I'm talking about. I've read Mindos Mod, or Mindos, or, or you know what I'm saying. I've read that one small book that he has, which is the only one that he's wrote that isn't about World War II. But I heard about the one that takes place in Italy, and I thought it, that sounded interesting, and I might might have given it a chance. So. There you go. <laughs> this is why, this is what, all a big way of saying why I chose this book. It just appeared randomly on Libby and I was like, hmm, okay, that sounds uh, interesting actually. Especially because it's um, the, from the POV of librarians, right? And like, how can librarians help in this situation? So I thought it would be an interesting perspective. So, yes. I'm liking it so far. It's just those things that I said, like the accent really give me the ick and that that's like the only complaint that i have so far I, the dad was to be fair when the, when she got home and they sat down to like chat and eat and stuff the, they were drinking port wine and the dad was eating olives which is very big stereotype <laughs> i mean to be fair it's a true stereotype we do drink port wine and eat olives that's true we do do that but it just seemed like a very like forceful way of being like yeah this guy is portuguese get it because he's drinking port wine but yeah other than that like i'm liking it it's not like much has happened yet you know i'm only f like not even 40 minutes of the way in and now i'm gonna go have lunch while watching blue period <laughs> so i'm not gonna be reading it I'm gonna be watching it because there is a anime that they did for this book and I have been watching it very slowly I've been watching the episodes as I read the books uh, so that I can like compare and contrast and for the most part it's a pretty faithful adaptation like I feel like most animes are the very faithful adaptations of the of the mangas many years ago miners were forced to retrieve the ore the Mercury made it basically a death sentence. <laughs> Yuji, have you gotten cuter or something? Are you flirting? Of course I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> okay, I just finished lunch. I It's kinda, kinda late already, but it's because I did the lunch very late, so it seems like it's even later. It's 5 p.m. <laughs> It's 5 p.m. So the day isn't going exactly according to plan, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> um, it did take longer than I expected. But the plan for now is to read another volume of Blue Period. But because I'm starting from the start, the beginning of the volume, we're gonna count how long it takes me to get through a volume of Blue Period. So I'm gonna set up a, like a little timer and at the end we'll see how long it took and i think after that we'll probably read a little bit of percy jackson oh <laughs> and 
start. Oh, look at that. That's they colored. Sometimes they colored like the first page. That's amazing. Oh, look, they also colored this one. That took me an hour and 17 minutes, almost 18 minutes. Now, how does my hair look? I had a nap. <laughs> it looks... You know what? It could be worse. It could be worse. I was thinking of sitting outside and reading Percy Jackson, but I think it's still very warm. Supposedly, it's 29 degrees. It's almost 8 p.m., by the way. Um... So, let me see how unbearable it is, because 29 is a little better, but it's still quite hot. It's like, um, because it's very humid. Oh, you know what? This doesn't feel like 29 degrees. This feels almost like 25. It's good. Oh my god, it's good. Thank god. Okay, we can sit outside. Yay. We can sit outside and not feel like we're toasting. There's a spider. There's a spider there though. That's the thing. Do I sit outside and risk getting scared by spiders? Because there's quite some big spiders in the UK and I really do not appreciate them. Their existence. I killed one yesterday at like 3 a.m. I saw a big one falling down from the trash bins. And now I don't see her anymore. So like where the fuck did she go? Hmm. Sunset. The clouds, I don't even know, it looks pretty. Okay, a little update. I have read almost 80 pages of Percy Jackson. So I'm gonna stop for now and I'm gonna go take a shower. I don't know if I'll end up reading the 100 pages like I thought I would today, just because it's already 11. <laughs> uh, so I think I'm gonna go take a shower and afterwards we'll see. This is where I'm gonna surrender for the night. It's one almost 120 in the morning um i ended up reading one more chapter of percy jackson so that makes it almost 100 pages and the goal for today was 107 like if i had read another chapter it would have been like my goal so i think it's fine i just need to read one extra tomorrow so i think that should be that should be all right you know i think i can do that so we ended the day with two blue period books read, half, almost half of our goal um, for Percy Jackson, and 7% listened to that one audiobook, so that's, I'm pretty happy with that, that's not too bad, and tomorrow we'll be back. Okay, good morning. I mean, good afternoon. It's already 4 p.m. <laughs> it's 
to be fair, I have read uh, volume 10 of Blue Period. I finished the chapter that I was missing yesterday in Percy Jackson, and I've read one extra chapter in Percy Jackson. So I've done stuff already, I just didn't film it. <laughs> But we're changing our strategy today because I think the problem yesterday was that I was laying in bed <laughs> to read. And that is not the best plan because I get very sleepy <laughs> if I'm in bed. So what we're gonna do today is I got the I got the big fan and I'm just gonna sit in my chair reading because at least then I don't get as sleepy. Uh, so that's the plan. I think we're gonna read... I'm gonna try and finish this right now. I have less than 100 pages left, I think. Let me check, actually. I'm on 255, and this book has... 342. So yes, I have less than 100 pages left. So that sounds pretty doable. Uh, so I'm gonna finish this first while there's still daylight. And then we'll move on to Blue Period. Uh, I just want to say about Volume 10, they brought it back. It, it was good. Volume 10 was good. Volume 10 was a 5 out of 5. I really liked that one. We got more insight into Yatosuke, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Yatosuke's background and like why he is the way he is. And he's my favorite character, so I'm happy that we got more insight into his life. Um, so. I'm very happy with that, with that volume. <laughs> Hopefully the next volume is also just as good. I think it was just like 8 and 9, it w they were a little slow. I mean, it wasn't even that they were slow. It was just that there was, it was too much and it was getting a little repetitive, I think. That was the problem. But with then, it got bad, it got good again. So, I'm excited about that. So now let's read this. I got some very good news. Well, first of all, I've read another chapter of Percy Jackson, but that's not the good news. In a matter of like two hours, maybe not even two hours, maybe it was just like an hour, it went from being 33 degrees to, I couldn't even believe it when I saw it. I was like, there's no way. 21 and raining it's raining like it's very very small rain you know but uh um, it rained a little bit this was in a space of like two or maybe one hour from 33 degrees to 21. ah uh, i didn't even notice my room like the whole house is still very warm because obviously it was really hot <laughs> right in the morning and everything until like an hour ago uh, so the house is still very warm and I was using the, the big fan to cool everything off. But now, I don't need to. I don't need to. I just have the door open. I have my window open. There's very nice breeze coming in. Oh, I'm so happy. I didn't realize. Like, how I just went on my phone for a second. And I, and I checked to see. Because everything is like... It looked like it was going to rain. And I was wondering like if it went down to like 28 or something degrees. I see 21 and I'm like, there's no way, <laughs> no way. And I go out, to be fair, it doesn't feel like 21 degrees, but it's not hot anymore. What a relief. <laughs> <laughs> I can put my hair into tiny pigtails now. Anyways, I was just coming in to say that I finished Percy Jackson in the Battle of the Labyrinth. I... okay, I don't think this is big spoilers, but if still you don't want to hear about this, then I'll put spoilers on screen and take it out when you can hear again. Um, I thought he was 15 in this. <laughs> Turns out he... by he I mean Percy Jackson. Like, I thought he was already 15, and that at the end he would turn 16. No, he was 14 throughout this book, which is the same age he was on the last book. So I'm a little confused. Because he had a birthday on the last book. I guess he was 
13 on the last and then 14 on this one. I'm just a little confused because I thought... I thought he was 13 when he started on the first book. So like, I, I'm, <laughs> I don't know, maybe he was 12 or something when he started? I'm just very confused about ages, but yeah, I liked it. I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what to say about it. Uh, I think it's gonna be a four stars. I think I liked it more than the last one, but I'm not completely sure. I just like that we get to see Nico more in this. He seems like a, an interesting character. So we'll see what happens on the next one. The last one is the last in this, this series. I think what comes after is... Gods of Olympus? Maybe? I'm not sure. But uh, I'm curious to see what will happen. <laughs> uh, and yeah, well, now it's a... Uh, I don't even know what time it is, to be fair. Let's find out at the same time. It's... It's 7... 7.10. 7, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go make some soup for dinner. Because I haven't had soup in ages with this heat i just do not feel like cooking too much so but because it's better now uh we're gonna make some soup <laughs> and then we'll continue with the reading after oh i'm gonna listen to the book spy uh while i'm making dinner so i will let you know afterwards my thoughts on that book Your feet are planted firm up on the ground. Fortunate that you've heard your calling, but you go forward, then you're turning back around. You say you're scared. Okay, it's uh, it's the end of the day, it's almost 1 a.m. <laughs> uh, I didn't end up finishing the 11th volume of Blue Period, I read like 25 30 percent of it but i didn't finish it so i'm gonna have to finish it tomorrow hopefully <laughs> but i didn't want to say goodbye before we fill in the excel and we see the progress that we made so let's do that because it's gonna be good I, I know it's gonna be good okay let's remember that to start off uh i had 35 points you're not gonna be able to see my face but i hope you can see this all right just because i don't want to open obs that's the only reason i can i can do this like professionally but i don't want to at 1 a.m okay i hope you understand so just look at this you don't need to look at my face you can just listen to my beautiful voice which i hope you can still hear because i do have a fan on so hopefully you can still hear me. I think you can. <laughs> okay, let's go all the way down. All right, so the last one I took note of was Blue Period Volume 4. So we are, you know, we are a little behind. Let's start with the Blue Period. Blue Period. Okay, we're done with those. Now we have Loveless. Then we have Here Goes Nothing. I hate to say it, this book was not good. And then we have Percy Jackson. Oh my god, I was like, what am I missing? Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Lab. How do you write labyrinth? Lab. Labyrinth? No. Lab. That looks weird. Lab. Labyrinth. What? How do you write this? Are we ready to see how many points we went up? 
Uh, cause that was... how many books was this? Three, six, nine books. Oh, you, you, if you know how to do math, you know what that will take us to... And... 44 points! That means we now are only... Uh, pff, math. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, 55, 64 would be 20, so that's 19. We're only 19 points behind Mia, which is, you know, Claudia. We're only 19 points behind Claudia. And, um, let's see, my cousin, she's in 90, right? 90. So that is, isn't 45 plus 45 90? Or am I wrong in that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're almost half, halfway to my cousin's core. You know, that's not terrible. I don't think we did any of these. Let's see, both stars first letter of your name, definitely not. Uh, book with an animal on the cover. Uh, no. Okay. Um, book about we're we're tr we're doing this one right now, but it, we didn't finish it. Book about the Holocaust slash World War Two. Book on a Goodreads TBR with the highest rating. No. Then we have birthday person that's only in December. This one is only in October. And then we have a book by your favorite author. Oh, I did. Alice Oseman. There we go. Yay. A book with a one world word title. Oh, actually, we're not going to put this for Alice Oseman. We're going to put this one because it's so hard to find books with one, one word title. And Loveless fits there. So we're going to fit it there instead. A book released in 2023. Oh, actually, when was... Blue Period release, Blue Period Volume 10, surely that one's more recent, right? Surely, when will you release, bestie? 2021? Holy shit, it's old. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. <laughs> nope for that one. A book that won a Goodreads Choice Awards in 2022, I don't think we had any of that. Book with a skull on the cover, also not. The last book you bought, also not. Read a book that the other two have read in common, definitely not. Uh, and book recommended by a singer or actor slash actress, also not. So, we'll stay here. I think that is our final score, 45 points. That means we are now halfway to reaching my cousin's points. And, um, 18 to reaching Claudius points. So I'm pretty happy with that. We did quite quite well. Overall during this weekend we read without count counting the ones that I read like on my own during September we read uh, one, two, three, four books during this weekend. That's two books every day which is very good. Very very good. If I was able to read two books every day until the end of the year, I would be <laughs> way over our goal. Um, but when I, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> like the fact that I already read eight books in September um, is a lot. Do you see that light on my eye? What is? Oh, I know what it is. I was like, oh my god, that's so, that's so bloody disgusting. Disgusting. I need to go to sleep. I was gonna say it's so bloody distracting, not distracting, not disgusting. What am I saying? Anyway, <laughs> anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you had fun. Oh, I forgot to show you my soup. I'll put a photo of my soup if I remember to take a picture. There you go. Doesn't it look nice? Um, anyways, I'm gonna see you. I hope you like this. If you like this video and you would like to see stuff like this more often then uh, leave a like and subscribe and turn on the notifications it'll let you know when I post a new video or I go live and it also helps me and it da, 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 da. yes you know what to do bye <laughs>